Have you ever wondered what lurks in the shadows during the spookiest time of the year? Perhaps real Halloween horror stories are more terrifying than you think. As the calendar flips to the end of October, something shifts in the air. The leaves crunch underfoot, the wind carries a chill, and the moon seems to shine a little brighter. It's Halloween season, a time when we delight in fear, revel in the macabre, and entertain the possibility of the supernatural. But what if the monsters we imagine are more than just figments of our overactive imaginations? What if the tales we tell to scare each other are rooted in truth? The thought is chilling, isn't it? Allow me to take you on a journey. A journey into the darkest corners of Halloween. We're not talking about the kind of fear that comes from a jump scare in a haunted house or the momentary fright of a well-placed spider decoration. No, we're delving into something deeper. The kind of fear that lingers. The kind that keeps you up at night. Long after, the trick-or-treaters have gone home. You see, Halloween is a night when the veil between our world and the next is believed to be at its thinnest. It's a night when the impossible seems a little more possible, when the unbelievable becomes believable. It's a night when the stories we tell aren't just stories, they're warnings. Over the next several minutes, we'll explore three true tales of Halloween horror. These aren't your typical ghost stories or urban legends. These are accounts of real people, real experiences and real fear. They serve as a chilling reminder of what can happen when the unseen becomes seen, when the unreal becomes real. As we embark on this journey remember this. The monsters aren't always hiding under the bed or lurking in the closet. Sometimes they're right in front of us, unseen in the shadows of our everyday lives. Prepare for a journey into the unknown where reality is scarier than fiction. Our first tale takes us to an old abandoned house where peculiar happenings have become the norm. In a quiet town hidden by overgrown foliage sits a house. An eerie structure, abandoned and forgotten, it has become a breeding ground for chilling tales. The house, once a symbol of prosperity, now stands as an embodiment of fear and intrigue. Its creaking floors, the chilling drafts and the inexplicable shadows cast by moonlight have spun a web of horror stories that are as captivating as they are terrifying. The brave, or perhaps the foolish, have dared to venture inside, driven by curiosity or a thirst for adventure. Each one carries a story, a chilling account of their encounters. Some speak of a cold presence that seems to follow them through the house, a feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Others recount hearing whispers in the dead of the night, a low murmur that sends shivers down their spine. The whispers they say grow louder, the deeper one ventures into the house reaching a crescendo that is abruptly cut off, leaving behind an oppressive silence. There are tales of doors that open and close of their own accord, of lights flickering in rooms that haven't seen electricity in decades. There are accounts of objects moving without explanation, of footsteps echoing in deserted corridors. Some even claim to have seen figures standing in the corners of rooms, figures that vanish when approached, leaving behind a lingering sense of dread. Each person who has dared to enter carries a piece of the house with them when they leave. They speak of a coldness that clings to them, a chill that persists long after their departure. They speak of sleepless nights and uneasy dreams, of a constant feeling of being watched. They speak of a fear that lingers, a fear that makes them look over their shoulder, a fear that reminds them of the haunted house. As the house stands a silent sentinel, those who dared to enter still feel the lingering chill of unseen eyes watching. From the eerie silence of a haunted house we move to the bustling streets on Halloween night, where not all trick-or-treaters are as they seem. Now imagine this. The evening is alive with the sounds of laughter and the rustling of candy wrappers. Children in costumes of goblins and ghouls, superheroes and princesses, scamper from door to door, their bags steadily filling with sweets. But among these innocents, there's a visitor who doesn't belong. A phantom trick-or-treater who appears as real as you or I but vanishes into the ether as mysteriously as he arrives. This spectral visitor dons the guise of a small child, clad in a simple old-fashioned ghost costume, but there's something unnerving about him. Perhaps it's the way his feet barely touch the ground, or how he never utters a word, or maybe it's the chill that sweeps over you when he takes a piece of candy from your bowl, his hand cold as ice. The phantom trick-or-treater doesn't linger long. He collects his candy and moves on, leaving a trail of goosebumps and whispered questions in his wake. You watch him go, your mind spinning with confusion and unease, but by the time you muster the courage to follow him he's gone. Vanished into the crisp autumn night without a trace. And yet his presence lingers. The memory of his icy touch stays with you casting a chill over the rest of the evening. 
you share your encounter with friends and neighbors but their reactions are mixed. Some dismiss it as a prank, others as an overactive imagination. But a few, those who've experienced the phantom trick-or-treater themselves, they know the truth. They felt the same bone-deep cold, seen the same spectral figure disappear into nothing. As the last piece of candy is given out, remember, not every visitor at your door is of this world. And as you turn out the lights and retreat into the safety of your home, remember the phantom trick-or-treater. He's a chilling reminder that Halloween is a night when the veil between our world and the next is at its thinnest. A night when anything or anyone can come knocking at your door. Our final tale is a cautionary one, reminding us that sometimes the scariest things are those we willingly invite into our lives. In the heart of a small town, there existed a peculiar Halloween store. This wasn't your typical party store, lined with brightly colored costumes and sugary treats. No, this store was shrouded in an old-world charm, carrying with it an air of mystery and a tinge of the macabre. Among its many treasures, there was one costume that held a sinister secret. This costume was unlike any other. It was a beautifully crafted Victorian-era outfit, complete with a top hat, a flowing cape, and a masquerade mask. But this was not just a costume, it was a harbinger of misfortune. The tale goes that whoever dared to wear this costume on All Hallows' Eve would be cursed with a string of ill fate. Now you must be thinking, why would anyone want to wear a cursed costume? Indeed it defies logic. But there's a thrill in the forbidden, a seductive allure to the unknown. And so, year after year the costume found a new owner, each oblivious to the peril they had willingly welcomed into their lives. One year a young man, drawn by the costume's intricate details and the promise of a memorable Halloween, decided to take the risk. The following year, he lost everything he held dear. The next, a daring woman donned the cursed attire, only to be met with a series of unfortunate events that left her life in shambles. Now, you might dismiss this as mere coincidence. But sometimes the line between coincidence and curse is as thin as a thread on a costume. As we tread in the realm of the supernatural, the unsettling and the unexplainable, we must take heed of the tales that warn us of the dangers hidden in plain sight. As you don your costume this Halloween, remember, every stitch may carry a story, every mask may hide a curse. As our journey into the realm of real Halloween horror stories comes to an end, the echoes of these tales linger on. The chilling whispers of the unseen fear, the eerie silence of the haunted house, and the spectral presence of the phantom trick-or-treater, these are not mere figments of imagination but bone-chilling realities that have left indelible marks on those who experience them. The unseen fear, as ethereal as it might seem, is as real as the air we breathe. It lurks in the shadows, unseen but felt, its presence a chilling reminder of the thin veil that separates our world from the unknown. The haunted house, with its ghostly occupants, stands as a grim testament to the fact that sometimes the past refuses to stay buried. The walls echo with tales of terror, each chilling encounter a brush with the supernatural that leaves one questioning the nature of reality. And who can forget the phantom trick-or-treater, the spectral child forever trapped in the ritual of Halloween? Its innocent facade hides a chilling reality, a reminder that not all spirits that roam on Halloween are benign. These tales, as horrifying as they are, serve as a stark reminder of the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. They remind us that we share our world with entities that exist beyond the realm of our comprehension, entities that on certain nights like Halloween, can cross over into our reality. The implications are chilling. The thrill of the unknown, the unease that comes from realizing that we are not alone, that our reality is just one of many, is a thrill that lingers long after the tales have been told. As we draw the curtain on our journey through these real Halloween horror stories, let's not forget the lessons they impart. Fear can be real, even if it's unseen, the past can haunt the present, and sometimes, the innocent can be the most chilling of all. As the last pumpkin lantern flickers out, remember, when the veil between our world and the next thins, not all that comes through means us well. Sleep tight, and happy 